My name is Tyler Baronski here. I'm joined by former major leaguer and current Bridgeport Bluefish, Jonathan Alvadeo. Jonathan, thanks for taking a few minutes. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Now in 2000, you were drafted by the San Francisco Cisco Giants, but you didn't sign with them. Why did you choose not to sign with the Giants? Uh, it was a 35th round, and they uh, asked me to go uh, to college and see like how I did, how I like I would do in college, and uh, it was basically a draft and foul yeah. kind of deal. So. Uh, I just went to uh, Miami Dade Community College and have a good year. And after that, I uh, was drafted by uh, the Pirates. Yeah, like you just said, drafted by the Pirates the next year. Spent six years in their minor leagues, you know, starting and relieving. But then you got released in 2007. Was that a little tough for you to get released by them, especially after being with them in the minor league so long and, you know, they just released you? Yeah, I mean, I, it was a little tough. Like, I was in a tough situation that year. So, like, uh, it was more like a... Uh, you can say a mutual decision, you know, like cause I was like in the DL while, while I wasn't hurt. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I, I could offer more than what I was doing there. So like they, they decided to let me go and I was really appreciative of the opportunity and, you know, for them to let me go and uh, find another opportunity with another team. Yeah. Now you signed a contract with the Washington Nationals, uh, double A with them and then triple A and you really had a great success at triple A with a .78 ERA. That was uh, unbelievable and then you got called up to the major league so did you feel like you really deserved that call up and like how were you feeling during that stretch at triple a i mean i i i felt like i have a really good year that year like uh even in double a even my numbers weren't that great but uh i pitched a lot and i was always asking for the ball so like i think they like that and uh one of the coordinators went to uh watch the team and they he saw me and he really liked me and uh he just decided that like it was time for me to go to AAA, and he told me like, "Don't worry, I'll move you up." And like it just happened. That's awesome. Now you were traded to the New York Yankees the following year for Tyler Clippard. Were you a little surprised by the trade, and how did you find out about it? Uh, I was, cause at the end of the at the end of that season, uh, I got called by Manny Acta, was the manager for the Washington National at the time, and uh, he told me to go into off season, work hard, play, win a ball, and like that that I that I would be in the team next year. So like. You know, I was home. Oh, actually, I was in Venezuela, you know, playing uh, winter ball. So I was, like, relaxed and confident that I would make the team next year. And uh, I think it was uh, either Brian Cashman or Jim Bowden, the the GMs of the team, the first call that I have, and they told me uh, that I was traded. So that I was in shock, you know. And like, I was really happy at first because, you know, you got traded to the Yankees, you know. Like, that's best organization in baseball. But then uh, at the same time, after I think about it, I was like, oh, wow, like, I might go to the minor leagues again, but everything worked out, you know. Like, I uh, thankfully I made the team that year, and uh, everything everything worked out. Yeah. And you spent a few seasons with the New York Yankees, including that '09 team that won the World Series. From your perspective, what made that '09 Yankees team so special? I think uh, we played as, as as one, you know. It was like a very very tight unit. It was like a family in there, you know. Everybody pulled for each other, and like we had a lot of like. Uh, come from behind wins you know I think that like you know it, it make you excited for the next day you know so like I think that was one of the reasons why like we won the whole thing yeah now being a Yankee you're instantly thrown into that famous sports rivalry between the Red Sox and the Yankees what was that like for you to be part of that rivalry and play against the Red Sox and go to Fenway Park as a visitor I was it was great it was a great experience you know like the atmosphere was different every time you go to Fenway Park even at Yankee Stadium when we played Boston it was like it was different. It, you, you, you just felt that you were going to play against Boston, you know. Like, the fans got to the field really early, watched BP. You know, during BP, there was, like, 20,000 people already at the field, you know. So, like, it was it was pretty awesome, you know. Like, it was a great experience. In, even in Boston, uh, I think it was top of the eight or bottom of the eight, they played the uh, – what is the name of the song? Sweet Carolina? Sweet Carolina. Sweet Carolina. That, that was amazing. I had the opportunity – to pitch in uh, bottom of the eight in Boston one day, and I was like, I had chills, man. Like the entire crowd singing the song, it was awesome. That's really cool. Now you play with a few guys that are probably gonna make the Hall of Fame one day. Guys like Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera, Andy Pettit. What did you see from those guys that are probably bound for Cooperstown compared to maybe other players? What did you see from the like work work ethic? I think it was more of uh, other than the work ethic, it was like pretty good you know but I think more it was like their uh, mindset it was like you know they you never seen them rattle like you never seen them, like they might get angry but you never seen them like you know like out of the 
you know, out of their game. You know, it was always they were focused on what they were doing and they know what their goal was. And un until they don't achieve it, they don't stop. Yeah. Now after the Yankees, you bounced around a little bit. Uh, Japan, the Diamondbacks, Miami, Mexico, and then you came here to Bridgeport in the Atlantic League. Uh, you're having a really great season with Bridgeport so far and arguably one of the better pitchers in the Atlantic League. So were you a little surprised you didn't get picked up earlier in this season or haven't been picked up yet? I mean, like, uh, not really. Like, uh, I, you know, this is the first time I started in a long time. So, like, and I struggled a little bit at the beginning. So it was more of, like, an adjustment for me type of thing, you know, like where, like, I needed to adjust again to be a starter and, like, you know, maybe my velocity wasn't what I, what I wanted to be at the beginning of the year. And that's when most teams are looking to pick up players. So uh, hopefully, you know, and plus, you know, like I say, I wasn't a starter before. So, like, maybe there were waiting to see if I if I can hold for 140, 160 innings, you know. So, like, hopefully for next year something will come up and, like, everything will be better. Yeah. On this Bluefish team, pitching-wise, do you view as one of your roles, like, veteran leadership on this team, especially with all this experience you had with those Yankees teams? Yeah, I mean, like, I try to help as much as I can, you know. Like, uh, I, I don't overdo it or, like, you know, imp like, put in, like, tell them what I want them yeah, to do or yeah, anything, yeah. you know, but if they ask if they ask me for advice, I, I try to help them as much as I can. Yeah. Now you've done both starting and relieving in your career. Which one do you uh, in 2010 with the Yankees at AAA where you had the single save uh, record that year? Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing year, you know, like that's like a one in a lifetime kind of thing, you know, like uh, I just couldn't do anything wrong, you know, like anything that I did was a record system. But uh, I, I really enjoying uh, being a starter this year. Like it's been a lot of fun. Like it is great, you know, once you have the fifth inning, those six, seven, eight innings when you get there, it's like, you know, almost like you did what you're supposed to do that day. And uh, I, it's really fulfilling. I, I'm really enjoying being a starter. Yeah. Last couple questions for you. In the major league. Uh, Miguel Cabrera for sure like uh, I have like some success against him at the beginning but uh, I think he figured me out after that like it wasn't it was really tough out for me to get yeah. for sure. final question uh, there's a lot of beautiful which were some of your favorite ones to play and play well, obviously, New York, New York that was like probably one of the best field that I played but history wise the all Yankees think really nice uh, Boston was incredible. Oh, yeah. Like I really like it. You know, all the the club is not great, but you know, yeah. being there, you know, with all that history, I think it was great. Donovan, thanks so much. All the best, you